Welcome everyone, Denzel Rodriguez in the house and hey Chris Kirkpatrick. We are both at the AND Asset Mastermind 2024 hosted by Caleb. And we are here just doing a quick update on the <laughs> IUL challenge. I was able to grab Chris real quick <laughs> before he goes out. And I'd love for you to talk to my audience yeah. about just a quick summary of your experience in, in IUL. Mm -hmm. Why are you so passionate about it? Sure. What's going on in the industry? And then your challenge. Awesome. Um, so if it's your first time seeing me uh, or whatever, I run a company called Life 180. Um, I started it about a decade ago. Uh, before that, I was a director of business development for the top IUL company in the country as far as sales volume goes. Um, the reason I left that company and, and started uh, becoming a raving fan of whole life insurance is because of the fact that I realized that IUL was the most misrepresented product uh, on the face of the earth. And I was doing what I thought was right when I was selling it, but what I realized is even when I was designing the policies properly and max funding them and all these things, the moving parts and the variables and everything in the policies just were never in my control. And, and there were always uh, components that they were being manipulated or changed in such a way that the policies would always underperform the way that they were sold, which, you know, not to say that that can't happen in whole life. And it's important that we don't just lean on illustrations to sell. Right. So that's important to understand as well. Mm -hmm. um, but when you're buying a product with IUL that is sold as an investment alternative, that's supposed to give you upside potential and downside protection. Well, we just came through the greatest bull run of all time, right? And if you're not going to get upside potential during the greatest bull run of all time, why would you want to buy an IUL and not just ride the predictable uh, comfort and growth of a whole life policy, right? Mm -hmm. Especially when you, when you consider all the variables of, of control and the moving parts and like the long-term ramifications of what it, what that means. And so I created a thing called the IUL challenge because there's so many people, if you go on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, any social media platform, you're going to see people doing these 60 second reels, they're blowing short up short videos, 30 second clips, they're like all these viral things. Right it now. is insane yeah. because they, they sell this hype machine. Uh, most of the people that are doing these videos don't even understand what they're actually selling, what they're involved with. I, I think some of them do and they're, and they're in my opinion, criminal. Uh, and some of them are just naive and they don't know enough. They haven't been in the business long enough to know what they yes. don't know. And it, it's a challenge. So I said, hey, because I got a lot of new people. And this is kind of what inspired the start of the IUL challenge is that uh, there's a lot of new people on TikTok and Instagram and all these places that are, that are having pretty fast success, like getting 50, 100,000 followers, 200, a million followers in some situations, right? Like crazy numbers based on the hype, yeah. right? It's like clickbait. And... So this is happening and they're starting to argue with me about my position on IUL. And, and, and so, you know, they're arguing with me and I'm just like, what can I do to prove them wrong? You know, like, cause I, 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 I really, I'm not trying to fight with people, but I really wanted to just be like, how can I help them? You yeah. know, like really get perspective. Cause you're, you're interested in having the transformation that you had. Totally. So someone must 100%. have spoke to you. Someone oh, pivotal. Yeah. Don Bland actually Don Bland. Okay. Is, is the guy who really first got me contemplating like could I be wrong about this right and as I dove deeper into it it turns out I was wrong right and I want to get in on this because I I'm really <laughs> excited how you do it you really you really attack you know you throw your punches but where I'm seeing I need to get involved mm -hmm. is there's a lot of Hispanics there's a lot of blacks uh, yeah so from a cultural perspective mm. we're getting really sold into this mm. and when you come from a background not so much income not so much money yeah. and you're getting presented with these amazing returns and it, it really feels like you know Super. for hispanics blacks that oh my god i can catch up yeah and i can really catch up totally and you or you could yeah. get more for less like you can maybe with your limited resources they may manipulate you or deceive you with these illustrations to make you think that the limited capacity you have to contribute will actually help you achieve what you want to achieve yeah only to have you wind up with nothing right and so yeah, these are all, all really dangerous things. And so what I did was I said, hey, if you've only been in the business three years, you gotta have a mentor, right? You gotta have somebody learn this from. Somebody. You gotta have somebody that you trust mm -hmm. that can show you that it's worked, mm -hmm. right? Because I don't care about what a piece of paper says when it's sold to me. I care about what they actually do long-term, right? And so I created the IUL challenge. At first it started at 500 bucks. And I was like, hey, listen, cause I thought it would be like, there'd be one that would show up, right? I thought somebody yeah. would do it. And so I started at 500 bucks and I said, hey, Anybody, what I need is a policy that's 10 years old. I want the original illustration and a current in-force illustration, which is meaning like 
How's the policy currently performing? And I just wanted to see a policy that's 10 years old or more that has the amount of cash value in it that it showed on the original illustration. Now coming through the greatest bull run of all time, you know, with a product that's supposedly supposed to give you upside potential, that shouldn't be a problem. Especially since all the agents say that these things are sold on a conservative basis, right? Like right. It, it, it makes no sense, but yet for 500 bucks, nobody did it. And I was like, you know what? Maybe it's just not enough money. It's just not enough. We, it. Maybe 500 is not worth enough people's time, right? And I so, have the video that we, yeah. we saw. I'll tag yeah. that video for you and guys. And you actually watch. offered to like, hey, match I'm going to match the 500. So, yeah, so then bucks. we said, hey, a thousand bucks. And then like, whatever, it didn't happen. So I, I then upped it and I've upped it. it. It went up, it went up, it went up. It went to 2,500. By the time I hit $2,500 as an offer, I was like, you know, I mean, you're, you're an agent. Right, you yeah. sold policies. Yeah. How hard is it to get an original illustration, which you should have if you're the agent, right? And and an enforced illustration. It might take how much of your time to figure that out? Less than five minutes. Okay. If that. So, would, if you could prove that, mm -hmm. would would five minutes of your t would it be worth twenty five hundred bucks to you to spend five minutes Not of your time? Not only that, you're dealing with a guy named Chris Kirkpatrick <laughs> who has a a really good following, knows marketing. And would give you all the credit in the world. He's yeah, more than happy totally. to, to be wrong. And that was yeah. part of the challenge. I said, if you prove me wrong, and if you are one of the agents that can do this, I'll bring you on my channel and I'll interview you and I'll give you exposure. So, right, twenty five hundred bucks. That's like a, a small policy commission right there for free. You didn't have to work for. Yep. And then the insane amount of business that you would get from that from Chris's haters. Yep. They're exactly. like, you see? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> totally. And so. Where we are now is uh, I've actually upped it to five thousand mm -hmm. dollars, and then Chris Noggle, yep, from uh, from Money Multiplier, Money Multiplier, has agreed to match the five thousand. So we are now at a ten thousand dollar reward mm -hmm. for and somebody. And I wanna, I'm still going to contribute my thousand okay. bucks. So we're at an eleven thousand yeah. dollar reward for the IUL challenge right now. Okay. So that's saying somebody that has a policy that's ten years old or more just showed the original Enforce illustration. Full, full illustration packet with the, the current Enforce illustration run. And if the current illustration matches, doesn't even have to beat it, which it should do because of the upside potential in the bull market we're in. All it has to do is match it though at the end of the day. And if it does that, you get 11,000 bucks. There you go. So for those like, of you that are watching, you're an agent, you watch my channel, and maybe you're a pro IUL user, or you're <clears throat> contemplating, you're a client, you know someone that sold you an IUL, yeah. and you've had it for years, please come forward. Show us your IUL, because that's going to help me learn, Chris, yeah. as well, but so far. And, and here's what I want to say, though, to this, is like, I want everybody to think, just please use some common sense here, right? Like, if, if this is happening, one of the things I want to make really clear about the challenge is that I'm not trying to prove that IUL is not capable of working in a vacuum, because it, it, it's possible. Mm -hmm. the, the analogy that I've started using is, if you were told before your flight that the plane had a 95% chance of crashing, would you get on that plane? Absolutely not. No. So I'm not saying IULs can't work. I'm just saying the likelihood is very low. And so when we start talking about putting money into insurance products and, and thinking about what role in our life, what problems we're trying to solve with these products, do we want to take risk with those products? No. Right. right? Exactly. So I'm saying just be really, really cautious and be really critically thinking about what and why you're doing what you're doing. Because when, when we start looking at whole life versus IUL and the people that want to hate on my perspective of IUL and, and you know, they're doing that all on the illustrations, but you know, um, those aren't worth the paper that they're written on ultimately. And, and so, and one last thing, Chris spoke at this event and he mentioned something to the, to the effect of like, when did we start speculating on life insurance, which is supposed to be a secure asset. So yeah. that's something you put Yeah, when did that word. become okay? When did, like, it, right. when did, when it, did it become okay? okay to speculate with life insurance? Yeah, so it's now we're treating life insurance like an investment, yep. and that's essentially what we're doing with, with an IUL that is not designed for technically to be an investment. It, it's it's yeah. not what it is. And you even went deeper and showed that, you know, it's not just the agent's fault, it's also the insurance company. Totally that they're, they've made it a profit center, as you say, yep. to transfer the risk mm -hmm. of death event, life insurance obligation mm -hmm. to the client, the user. Yeah. It's very similar to 
having your 401k mm -hmm. and, and you're self-managing your 401k. Totally. And, and no one ever gave you an instruction manual on how totally. to invest in the stock market. Yeah. You're supposed to hope and pray for that for those totally. rates of returns and there's going to be enough money there and yeah. to come to be 59 years old many clients watching you know who you are you got to 59 you got to 62 and you're like what happened covid happened 08 multiple things keep happening and your money keeps like disappearing yep because we're we're thinking someone else is going to do better to our money than what we could do if we would just empower ourselves totally right? and whole life gives you that ability to empower yourself because yep. of that stability that guarantee and that out there so thank awesome. you so much yeah, man. man i appreciate you absolutely and thank you and those of you that are considering to become agents in the services industry look up the and asset mastermind this is one of the best this places you want to be it's awesome. absolutely so god bless everyone thank you.